Well, I got to tell you, we're going to start a a footballish topic, but Beanie really missed the mark with the update. And this is something legitimately that bums me out. Guys, Carl Weathers passed away. Yeah. Apollo Creed. Right. Wasn't oh he in God. those commercials with uh, with with uh, Gronk? Yeah. He was training him. Yeah. yeah. Unbelievable. I love Carl Weathers. Yeah, yeah he's Predator. Oh, don't. Robert Tepper. Now, this is it's too emotional. It's too close to the news. Yeah, this is tough, man. Right, this is really saying, bad. There's no I'm, easy way out. I'm watching him in those Gronk commercials like, okay, he's the trainer. Like, oh, man. Yeah. There's no shortcuts home. There's no easy way out, Rico. Oh, man. Losing, losing can't be wrong. Oh, my God. Man. Oh, terrible. All right. That ranks right up there like the day we found Prince passed away. All right. Let's keep it rolling. Um forced reality come on stallion come on stallion I, there is no tomorrow there is no tomorrow oh, come God. on man i i i i, I, I love carl he's a good I, actor man all right just that that movie alone with him training rocky come on man yeah wow oh what about running down the beach together right okay. uh, and you still owe me Let's a favor focus. when this is all done that's right. No cameras, nobody around, just me and you. You want to ring the bell? Oh, and then, <laughs> yeah, and then right, right when they're about to hit each other, fade to black. Right. Roll credits. Which followed the. Kenny has no idea. Oh, no, no, he doesn't. Oh, some of the greatest debates in the barbershop of Wait who would have won that battle. Because did you see he was coming over the top? No, but Rocky was coming underneath. Oh, yeah. Wait a second now. Hold on a minute. Kenny, you've never seen the Rocky franchise? Are I've, you I've seen me? some of the Rocky franchise. I have not seen that movie, but I've seen some of it. What on earth? Which one did you see? All right. Whichever the most popular one was, man. I don't remember. They're all popular. How dare you? They're all popular. What are you talking about? And shame on you. Hulk Hogan was in one. I think that may have been the one I saw. Oh God! Under the I worst the of the lot. In it. That's the one I saw. Oh, that's Clubber that, that, Lang, that, get it right. That's the same one. Come get right. your woman, Balboa. Get your woman, Balboa. Yeah, no, that one. No, Gonna that be with a real man tonight. <laughs> oh boy! All right, let's not sully the name of Adrian. Um, <laughs> football's done. Football's done. So. It's not just us who do this for a living. Yes, we spend an inordinate amount of time watching ball. But you're out there listening. Lions season's over. There is no college football. And don't, please, don't call up and hit me with some USFL nonsense. I don't want to hear it. How are you reallocating your football time? It ain't like the days get shorter. You still have this time that you would spend watching football on a Monday night or Thursday night. College football, forget about it. Any night. Saturday, Sunday. It's all gone. It's all gone. It's like when the Bumpus Hounds took the turkey in a Christmas story. No more turkey a la hash. It's all gone. We got nothing. Where did Dad stand in there with the drumstick in our pajamas? So, I know my answer. And you I paint think such I a beautiful reasons. picture with your words. <laughs> you know, you know the dad's sad face, and he's just got the little <laughs> wing ding in his hand, and he's like, "Pew!" I, I that's us. Now Rico and I, well, we'll just watch college basketball. I mean, the NBA. I make no secret of it. The NBA is largely unwatchable until the playoffs. You college know basketball, definitely not for everybody. No, definitely it's not. not. College basketball is an acquired taste. NBA basketball, if somebody texts me or if I happen to see that a game, like when all of a sudden I saw the Lakers-Warriors game got really good, it had my attention. Because you want to know why? I saw two teams actually trying to win. They didn't opt out. It wasn't, oh, I'm going to sit this. No, no, no. They were playing in that game. So, Yes. That's the only time. I just don't sit there, but I'm going to watch this NBA game from start to finish. Yeah. Who's playing? No. But yeah, college. So, yeah, you and I are sick. We watch a lot of college basketball. But here's my question. 
For you guys out there, what the hell do you do with your time? I mean, is this where the honeydew list takes over? Your spouse knows, like, uh, yeah, you know those hours you dedicated to Michigan football? Yeah, that's gone. Oh, the Lions? Yeah, I know they're not playing. You know, now you're going to end up at a piano recital? Like, what the hell happens here? How do you reallocate your sports time when football's gone? You know, could Kenny persuade you to watch the Wings? Probably not. Pistons, forget about it. Shout out Cookie Moore, U of D, 0-23. What do you do with the forced reallocation of man time? I'm being serious. Guys like Rico and I, we have it easy in a way. It's what we do for a living. And college basketball is the natural next thing. How the hell do you think cash to ticket operates? I have to watch these. I have to know what the hell I'm talking about. I think for me, and I was just talking to Evan like at, before the show, catching up on a lot of series on different uh, shows, whether it's HBO Max or Netflix or Hulu. Things that I've heard people talk about, but I just didn't have the time to dedicate to watch. Because Evan was just telling me, he's like, man, you know, he was watching Echo, the newest one on Disney+. Plus. Like, okay, maybe I'll check that out. I'll add that to my list. So, right. Th- for me, it's kind of going that and, and, and sampling to figure out which one of the series I really like and then doing a deep dive into that series and then moving on to the next and moving on to the next, along with college. Uh, All right, so college- Rico... So Rico on a normal, if Rico wasn't a freak show, it would just be shows. Yeah. Or as old people call them, programs. Okay. David. The stories. Obviously. (laughs) Yeah, you're my stories. David, radio side of you, any interest in college hoops, but the father of seven that you are. (laughs) Uh, Your duties with the church. What, What is the forced reallocation of your football time? What do you do with it? Well, since my college team blows, really- no, not U of D. That would be Michigan. Uh, since they blow, no oh, need to go, no need to go into college basketball. So I will use my time to catch up on oh, movies that's, that I missed. That's, that's the name we were- I don't watch movies from August till Super Bowl. I, I just I'm all football, college, NFL. So now I got to catch up on some of the movies that I didn't see during that time. Okay, but it's you know you're you're not cleaning the gutters. You don't no. have a, a honeydew list that takes over. No, not really. Nope. Kenny Cott. Kenny's answering phone. Kenny, but not, I, yeah. Oh, okay. That's great. No, I want a response from the people because this is a real thing. Look, for us, the calendar never stops. The only lighter part of the year to me is summertime. Baseball, there's so many damn games. And when your team is not elite, even if they are, you're really not watching every night. Now, I, I make a point. I'm on top of it most of the time. MLB but I use Network. most of my time off. Oh, oh listen, MLB uh, or MLB tonight yeah. is a saving grace. Yeah. But, like, I really wonder what the hell the hardcore Lions fan does now that the Lions are toast. Those Sundays that you would block out, what the hell do you do? It's a cold world out there, man. Probably pick up a second job to pay for all that playoff expenses <laughs> and tickets Uh-oh. and traveling. <laughs> well, I tell you, you'd need it for the Super Bowl. Cheapest ticket in the house, $8,500? Man, keep it. Keep it. Sit home and watch the damn thing. you oh, got to be kidding me with this, that. This city would have bought every ticket they possibly could have. They would Second mortgages, third mortgages. They were going to that game. Don't care the price. We'll live, we'll live today and care about tomorrow, tomorrow. 248-539-9797. David, line up a few calls, line up some ticket texts. We are in the forced reallocation of time. I got a, I got a, I'm going to catch you up on college hoops for real. Not the sarcastic version yesterday. We'll do it later in the hour. While you were asleep, a.k.a. football season, here's what you've missed. We'll see if Rico agrees, disagrees. We got the Big Ten and the SEC having this wartime consigliere meeting. I think I know what it means. We'll talk about that later in the show as well. Who said it? Lots to do on a Friday, 97-1.